So I think there's really three main fulfillment techniques that, that not only we're seeing on the market, but we're recommending as well. Uh, one is a hub and spoke model, right? Where there is uh, some fulfillment center somewhere uh, as the hub, all the spokes are potentially the stores. One of the spoke may be uh, straight to home delivery as well. Um, so, so that's one very popular model that, that top grocers are, are using. Uh, that seems to be popular really in more urban areas um, and then very rural areas as well. So the second option is, is a bolt-on solution. It's, it's kind of a hybrid hub and spoke because your, your store where you're bolted onto is your um, highest volume spoke, if you will. And then you're fulfilling out to the other stores in an immediate area. Uh, where it makes sense to, to do so. Um, that gives a lot of advantages when you think about redundant inventory, uh, inventory coming from um, other fulfillment centers or other suppliers, if you will, in the one centralized area, and then you can fulfill out. Still allows you to do curbside, it allows you to do home delivery at each of those, uh, at each of those individual stores. The third would be just a pure micro-fulfillment center. Um, th there's, there's a really good business case if you can find a, a very dense or a very flexible automation solution to build a micro-fulfillment center, specifically in an, in an urban area, um, where, where you can bring the inventory close, right? You can fulfill e-grocery orders either through a pickup at the micro fulfillment center or most probably to a home delivery type model 